you might be wondering the difference between a random orbital polisher versus dual action polisher. Both of these types of machines use spinning pads to polish your car's paint, but they work in different ways. Both orbital polishers versus dual action polishers are popular tools for detailing and polishing cars, but they differ in their design and usage. In this video, we break down the differences between orbital polisher versus dual action polisher car. So, let's get started. A random orbital polisher has an off-center spindle that causes the pad to orbit around the center as it spins. This motion creates a random pattern that helps to avoid swirl marks. A dual-action polisher has a spindle in the center of the pad. This machine oscillates as it spins, meaning that the pad moves side to side in addition to spinning around. The goal of this motion is also to help reduce swirl marks. Another difference is between random orbital polisher and dual-action polisher speed. Random orbital polisher works between 1800 RPM and 7000 RPM while dual polisher works between 1500 and 6800 RPM. Orbital polisher versus dual action polisher car. One, uh, features and functions. The random orbital polisher has a dual mode feature that makes it perfect for a couple of polishing tasks. Its major functions include polishing, buffing, and waxing applications, provided you can handle and use it appropriately. It often produces the best results. Commonly known as the DA, the dual action polisher is a machine that combines two functions, specifically when it comes to motion. It is a user-friendly polisher and cannot cut or damage the paint. If you want to improve the appearance of scratches, then this might be the polisher you need to use. 2. Motion or Speed Random orbital polishers rotate at a speed of between 1800 RPM and 7000 RPM. Unlike the dual polisher, the random orbital polisher rotates due to the momentum that the speed creates. You should also note that the pattern of motion is purely random, hence the name. Dual polisher moves in a circular motion on the head. It spins on its central spindle, just like the Earth on its axis. The spinning produces irregular, jigging motions that will help reduce the chances of damage and heat as a result of excess friction. When it comes to speed, the dual action polisher operates at a speed of about 1500 6800 RPM. Also, while it is strong, it might not be a perfect one if your vehicle has deep scratches. It is, however, a perfect option if you want to improve the appearance of scratches. 4. Pros and Cons There are pros and cons to both of these types of machines. Random orbital polishers can be a bit more forgiving if you mistake while polishing because the random orbit helps hide any swirls. Dual action polishers are more aggressive, so they can quickly remove scratches and swirls. However, if you're not careful, you can easily create more swirls with a dual action polisher. In general, orbital polishers are better for beginners or those who are less experienced with machine polishing. They are less likely to cause damage to the paint if used incorrectly, and they are also more affordable than DA polishers. Dual action polishers, on the other hand, are more powerful and versatile, making them better suited for professional detailers or those who want to tackle more challenging detailing jobs. Ultimately, the choice between an orbital polisher and a dual action polisher depends on your skill level and the type of detailing job you want to tackle. If you are unsure which one is right for you, it's a good idea to do some research and seek advice from experienced detailers before making a purchase. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.